So this is x, x naught. We are going to go to the lab today and look at multiplexers. We do not have ROMs, so we won't be going to the lab for ROMs or PLA and PL. This is Y, the next one. That's the other input. Try to make it nice and neat. This is Y not. And the last one is Z. W, X, Y, and Z. You get four inputs. I want to design a seven segment LED driver using a ROM. So the ROM here has four inputs, that means 16 outputs. Let me draw 16 outputs. This is one. I mean 16 rows, not 16 outputs. 16 combination. This is two. This is three, four, five. Instead of making the table and putting ones and zeros in it, they like to see it this way. It's easier to read. No numbers in it. And every time I talk, I stop counting, so I have no idea where I am now. But I'm sure I didn't get 16 yet. Try to make it nice. If you need some graph paper, I do have some graph paper, just to keep the line straight. Where do you buy the graph paper from? Um, I don't know, the school buys them. I have a whole bundle of it. In that drawer there, I have a whole, like about 500. They come in bundles of 500 plus. The paper wouldn't pay for it, the school buys it. I think WB Mason, we get everything from. We have a contract with them. They're not the cheapest, but... Yeah. I think that's 16 here. And the way actually we label that, remember, the first address is what? The 0, 0, 0, 0. So you put the dots at the 0. 0, 0, 0, 0. The next one, 0, 0, 0, 1. That's the address. The next one, um, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one. I can do them this way, one. Next one. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, yeah, I did actually. Here we go, zero, one, zero, one. Zero, zero, one, one. Zero, zero, one, one. Zero, zero, one, one. Zero, zero, one, one. That's the address. The next one's four zeros, right? Four ones. Four zeros. And four ones. The next one, eight zeros. And eight ones.
So that's all the address. When you have 16 combinations, that's zero. Like when you look at the address for this, this is the zero, 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 zero. This is the zero, 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 one. This is the zero, zero, one, zero. Zero, zero, one, one. Zero, one, zero, zero. Zero, one, zero, one. Zero, one, one, zero. Zero, one, one, one. This address is the one zero 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 one zero zero one one zero one zero one zero one one. The next one 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 zero zero one one zero one 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 zero and one 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 one. If you look at the dots here where they attach, so instead of just labeling like this, we draw this one. Now, the seven segment LED, remember that seven segment? It looks like this. Here we go. Let me make it big enough so we get to see it. Try to make it nice, straight lines. A. B, C, D, E, F, G. So I'm going to have five, uh, seven outputs here. One for the A. This is the A. Instead of putting gates, it gets hectic. To draw the gates, it becomes really messy. This is the B. This is C. D, E, F, and G. Let's look at A. You want it to be on when the number is what? Zero, right? This is equivalent to the zero. This is the one the two, the three, the four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, what do you want, if this is 10, if it's 10, there should be an error, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15, right? When you're writing zero on this display, do you want the A to be on? So for zero, which one you want on? All of them but G. Where is G? G is the last one. So all of them are on. You connect all these. That tells you that you want these guys to be one, but instead of writing ones and zeros, where you connect it, that's one, where it's not connected, that's zero. That's how they look at it when they get the chart from you. Now, the one, the one you want F and, and E or B and C, which one? You want to do B and C? B and C are on, and the other ones are not connected. The two, two, everything is on except F and C, right? A, B, C is out, D, E, and G. The three, everything is on but F and E. A, B, C, D, E, F, S, G. The four, A, F, B, C, right? Oh, no, I don't want the A. F, B, C, that's four. F, B, and C. The five, everything but B and E. Everything but B and E. Six. Six, everything but B. Yep, we'll do the E, error. When we reach that stage where you don't want to be on, I'm going to make mine 
Stephen, go like this. Show me an error on display so I know something is not right. Okay. And seven, seven A, B, and C, right? Eight, is that all of them for eight? And for 9, it's going to be everything but E. A, B, C, D, E is off, F and G. And after that, there is no 10, there is no 11, there is no 13. It should be an error. So B and C should be off. So for the rest of them, that's what's going to be. It's going to give me an error. So instead of me writing 1s and zeros. They can look at the chart and figure out which one is one, which one is zero. The one that has a dot on it, that means connected, that's a one. The one that doesn't have a dot, that means make that a zero. So when we design using ROM, instead of giving the truth table, instead of listing the combination, this is what they like to see. Easier on their eyes to read it. Really what that means, the truth table. But they don't want to see the truth table, that's what they want to see. You just draw lines and just highlight which one is it. Last time we tried to put a gate through it with one line, it get ugly. And again, as you have 16 of them, you get all these gates stacked on top of each other. What about if you have 32, 64? Now you need a massive sheet. I can do probably 32 easily on this piece of paper. So that's the common easy way of writing the ROM there. So this is the ROM, R-O-M, read-only memory. And again, this is really used when you have multiple output. If you only have one single output, it's not worth using it. You just go K-map, simplify it, and build that circuit. But when you have seven outputs like this, you don't want to do a K-map for each one, build each one separate. I don't want to use a decoder and seven OR gates, each one the size of my head. I don't want to use seven multiplexers. One ROM, ones and zeros, Connect, don't connect, and you're done with it. So that's the ROM. We won't see that in the lab today because we don't have them. Now, the other thing we're going to be looking at, PLA and PAL. Programmable logic array. So let me stop this video. I'll make another one.